this issue of Fashion Classics, we fly between New York and Miami as we highlight the best in beachwear for spring 2006. Rosa Cha heats up both cities with its signature sexy Brazilian swimsuit. My girlfriend said, you really have to be secure to bring your husband <laughs> to see other girls in beautiful swimsuits and sexy, you know, summer wear. And I said, it is what it is. Miami native Esteban Cortazar takes on Manhattan with his ocean-inspired collection. We go into the deep end of the ocean with just very kind of iridescent elements like a mermaid's tail or um, exotic fish. Visit with celebrity hairstylist Orbe at his new Miami salon. It's a day at the beach with model Marissa Miller. I'm so happy to be here. It's, I mean, it's a lot of fun and the energy of Miami is always great. Betsy Johnson launches a sassy swimwear collection. But first, let's go behind the scenes with designer Carmen Mark Valvo. It didn't take much convincing for New York designer Carmen Mark Valvo to launch his swimwear collection in Miami. I love Miami. <laughs> you know, I mean, New Yorkers is like, oh, I mean, Florida is fabulous. The Miami Herald's Catherine Wexler joined Valvo as he prepared for his debut show. His line actually continues his aesthetic. Um, you look at it and you see, you know, that it's Carmen, it's not a break. It's with the detail. Yeah. It's, it's all hand sequined and a little ripped, knotted work. The thing that I love about his line is that it's for a mature woman, it's for a woman who knows what she wants. His stuff is never frou-frou or girly or immature. Uh, the inspiration is kind of a ethno-American, kind of cross-cultural, very sophisticated, traveled woman, bringing back pieces from her travels uh, to Asia, the Far East, perhaps. Perhaps a little bit of coral, a little bit of shell. Seashells abound throughout the collections. All these suits were designed with that whole concept in mind that it's more than a bathing suit, it's a great top. Wear it with jeans, wear it with a skirt, wear it with an evening skirt. And more of a lifestyle approach. Just, just wonderful. And the detail on the top has its cup, really sexy. Really sexy here. But you have the elastic, you have the ruching, and it's, it's a great separate top again. bare, but there's you know, a lot of the internal structure of the garment that goes into it, uh, which is kind of like wonderful and I think really refreshing. He spent a lot of time and a lot of thought on giving these pieces more structure than you would normally find in most suits, and that is fantastic. My name is Carmen, right? <laughs> and for years, and even still to this day, a lot of women come up to me and say, impossible, you can't be a man. You understand women too well. In New York, women were waiting to see what the designer had in mind for the sultry summer nights. The hair and makeup had a touch of 60s cocktail glam. I am doing a social um, cocktail makeup today for the Carmen Mark Volvo show with a flavor of 60s, very romantic feeling, very fresh feeling. The look is like uh, Mia Farrow at the time of Sinatra. It's like uh, short hair. I mean, short hair done with long hair, so teasing, headband, and it's kind of a bob. For spring 2006, I was very inspired by the Sands Hotel, Vegas of the 60s, the music of Sinatra, um, his muse of the time, Mia Farrow. It was a time of um, innocence coupled with sensuality and glamour, and uh, I think this collection evokes that spirit. It's 
all about the cocktail dress or having cocktails at the Sands Hotel. I was playing with bands, just like bands of bold stripes of color, but still very, very refined because of the baby sequence of the micro herringbone beating. So even the beating patterns are very geometric this season. A certain minimalism, I think, has returned to fashion, um, which is apparent, I think, in this collection, another collection, it was very black and white, very monochromatic. Uh, it's accented with shots of color. But have no fear, Valvo has no plans to follow the minimalist path and abandon his signature gowns. No, no, I love my gowns. <laughs>
Uh, it's like cement, but it has, I told him I want glitter, I want diamonds, and so I don't know if, you, if the camera will get it, but it's very cool. It changes colors, and at night it's spectacular. It's um, very exciting to work in Miami. It's a different thing than New York. I find that, you know, even my New York clients when they come here are just super relaxed. And, you know, it's a resort type of place. And you come here to feel good, to have fun, to feel sexy. It's got great nightlife. So uh, for a hairdresser or you know, for a hairdresser or the beauty business or the spa business, it's great because, you know, they go to the beach all day. Around four or five in the afternoon, they want to go and start thinking about the nightlife. So they do come in, they get, you know, blowouts or hairdos. I have wonderful clients. I'm so lucky. I've, um, I'm still, you know, I still do Jennifer Lopez, who's the, probably the, the hair girl of the world. She's beautiful. She's a movie star. She's a singer, and. Um, you know, she's a designer, she's everything you want, so, you know, it's a, it's a great muse for me to have. We asked Orbe for his tips on dealing with Miami's tropical temperatures. The best tip in Miami is just to kind of get into what you, what you were born with. If your hair is kind of wavy and crazy and you're going to, you know, be outside all day, kind of do something wavy and crazy and make it work for you because um, you'll find that you'll go nuts trying to keep it straight. Designer Rebecca Virtue was finding it hard to believe that all the backstage activity was centered around her trendy swimwear label, Becca. So I'm pinching myself. It's just um, pretty crazy to think this is all about yeah. Becca. While she may have been presenting her show on the East Coast in Miami, it was the West Coast that had real impact on her summer collection. This is my first show, and it's all about the Golden State, my home state, California. We've got some really fun looks, and Every group is named after a region in California, so we've got studying and western treatments for the, for the Winchester town and all the way up to Napa Valley. We have beautiful florals and scarf prints. And then obviously we go back to Hollywood with our little glitz and glamour, and, and so there's a little bit of everything. Lots of color, and that's what California's about. It's just. A lot of color, beautiful scenery. We've got some vintage scarf prints that are very important and um, some medallion type of prints that have an influence of just an ethnic feel to them. Mm -hmm. Can I show you the poncho? Yeah. It's beautiful. All thrusty crystals. She's gorgeous. I think with beautiful swimwear, you can always put on a dress and some high heels, and you're ready to go. Hi, I'm Marissa Miller, and I'm here backstage at the Inca Show in Miami. No stranger to a swimsuit, model Marissa Miller was discovered on a beach in California by famed photographer Mario Testino. Now a regular in the Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue, this surfer girl star is continually rising. We caught up with Marissa in Miami. I'm so happy to be here. It's, I mean, it's a lot of fun and the energy of Miami is always great. I surf, so my whole life I've been close to the ocean always, and no matter where I am, if a beach is close by, I feel at home, and it's just a really good way to unwind, and, and I need to have that kind of balance in my life from the craziness of traveling and working. It's always 
a nice place to come back to. Brazilian suits are my favorite because they're tiny and, and I like them. Uh, walking on the runway in them is a whole nother thing, so, but it's fine. Though Miller seems to have been born with a bikini on, she wasn't always so comfortable. When I was in high school, I remember, you know, I would put on a pair of shorts to walk to the garbage can and, you know, I was really self-conscious, you know, but that's another thing that this job has allowed me to do is just, you got to just get over all that and, you know, and let it go and, and that's been a really good part of exploring that whole side of yourself too. You can't do it forever, so you, you really want to just take advantage of every opportunity now, um, you know, because you have the rest of your life to do whatever it is you want, and I know the time to do this is now. Lenata Bay! You could see the excitement building for designer Betsy Johnson launching her first swimwear collection in collaboration with swimwear manufacturer Lunata Bay, Johnson celebrated with a party in the New York showroom. I've been dying to do swimwear for a zillion years. I've done more swimwear on the runway in, in different fashion shows than I have regular clothing. It's a wonderful collaboration for me. So it's a whole little wardrobe. It's not just the bathing suit, it's so much more. And also, you get to know underwires and cups and fit and elastics and stretch and, you know, the sausage factor. It's a very specific thing doing really good swimwear. You know, a G-string and a triangle bra on a string, that's easy, but a real good solid swimwear make is very difficult. We decided to do a classic, like, you know, pink, of course. Pink, absolute sexy, don't I look skinny, black. And the lime green, I don't know, it just tied in with the green on the rose, but our signature print is the rosebud print. We're doing these bling bling bags and bling bling watches. And every, I think every product I make now has a factor of the mega bling bling. And so, you know, this way you can get the bling bling boots from me, watches. So this is kind of the extreme over the top bling bling Hollywood-esque glamour collection. Get the suit that you feel good in. You know, it's like swimsuits on the beach, it's deadly, you know, and we are, we're all not perfect model bodies. Um, I think, you know, have a margarita, get over it. So cute. You got one life to live, live it happily. Showing his red-hot Brazilian bathing suits in Miami was a no-brainer for Rosa Cha designer Amir Slama. I think Miami for, for us is very important because I really believe that the city deserves something like this organized and um, more well presented. I think it's more fashion, you know. The look is a woman that's been out for a late night, had her hair very pretty, nice pretty curls, but by the end of the night started getting looser and looser and sexier and sexier. And the next morning she woke up, she had a pretty wild night, very casually threw her hair up and put a couple of pins and went out to the beach. I'm opening in a one piece um, ba um, bikini bathing suit um, and like this cape, it's a one piece. It's really cool actually, because the opening is on the front like this. Can you see? Uh, this is um, a cruise collection that uh, I'm mixing a bit of uh, Rosa Shah and my second label called Size. I I'm using as references many different parts of Brazil. It's really cute. It has a 
has little bows on it. It's adorable, no? Love it. It's wrapped up like a little present. My work, like me, is getting a little bit more uh, mature and more professional. Um, I, I started working 15 years ago, so with the time we get lots of experience and also uh, understanding more the woman uh, and also the man bodies, uh, I like. <laughs> A few months later, the Rosa Cha line heated up the tents in New York City's Bryant Park. I live in his bikinis when I don't have to wear clothes. I mean, they're the best cuts. They make your ass look really good. And, um, and I love them. So yes, big fan. I'm quite sure it's going to be a very exciting show. So I'm here to see all the goodies. Backstage, the goodies were being made even better. Rosa Shaw, Brazilian beauties as usual, head to toe makeup, um, really just so the bodies look beautiful, so it's all very bronze and gold. It was the exotic beauty of the Brazilian desert that added a sultry feeling to the collection. This collection is uh, all inspired by the northwest of uh, Brazil. I didn't took uh, one, only one historical period, uh, but a mix of many different uh, informations uh, that I study and I like it, and I, I bring that in, in a very cosmopolitan way. I really love to research and to go back to the past and to try to, to find new elements and things to bring always uh, new possibilities to the wardrobe. In my collections, uh, I, I don't uh, think um, only in the, the bikini and the, the, the swimsuit, but it's a real way of getting dressed in the summer. Uh, in the fashion show, we will present only 47 outfits, but in reality, our collection has 300 uh, different, uh, different styles. I really believe in, in, in a woman that uh, she's feminine, she likes fashion and uh, self-confident. Sexy, sexy clothing. My girlfriend said, you really have to be secure to bring your husband <laughs> to see all the girls in beautiful swimsuits and sexy, you know, summer wear. And I said, it is what it is.